A couple of years ago, I ended up buying a Tensi 2 off eBay. Little did I know, it was a fake. It worked, but only for one time. I was only able to flash or upload one single program, one singular hex file. No matter how many times I've tried, I couldn't put it back into programming mode. The butter was useless. So I just threw it into my drawer and just left it for years. Until recently I was working on a project and I needed my hands on a Adreno compatible Pro Micro. So I went through my drawers and I found a Tinsy and saw that it had the same chip as the Adreno Leonardo and the Pro Micro boards. A Mega 32U4 chip produced by Atmel. So I thought to myself, there has to be some type of way to flash a Adreno bootloader and try to get this thing working. Maybe the uh, Tinsy had a faulty bootloader since it was a fake. And probably that's why my codes or my hex files etc uh, etc et weren't being uploaded to my Tinsy anymore. So in order to fix the fake Tinsy, I have to flash a new bootloader onto it. And the best way I thought to do this was to use an Adreno Uno. Since there is an example sketch to use it as a flasher, a programmer. Even the this Adreno in my hand is a fake too. This is how I essentially wired up the fake Tinsy to the Adreno Uno. Overall it takes about 6 pins. Wiring done. It's time to load up the Adreno program. Next is to go to File, Examples then to Adreno ISP, then click the example sketch. Next up is to set the correct board and port. So for me it would be the Adreno Uno and port 3. Once done, click upload. Now after the upload, Go to tools and now we have to change the board to what we're intending to flash the Tinsy with. So we're going to flash it with the Leonardo bootloader. So you choose Leonardo. Next is to set your programmer to Arduino as ISP. Then click burn bootloader. It takes a while to flash the new bootloader. And now it's done. Now by plugging the USB port of the fake Tinsy into the computer, the Adreno software should see this fake Tinsy as a Adreno Leonardo, which it does under the serial port COM10. Again, obviously this removes the Tinsy bootloader completely and it turns it into a compatible Adreno Leonardo or Pro Micro, which it is more useful to me as before I was just sitting in my drawer stuck with that one bit of program code. You could also use the Raspberry Pi to flash a new hex code, a new bootloader to the um, fake Tinsy, but it's a little more complicated. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, check out my Patreon, bye bye.